All right, continuing on with the Blu-ray collection. Um, probably be able to get this done within the next video or two. I do have one new purchase, and I've kind of slowed down with buying Blu-rays because I have nearly all the older films that I want. And a lot of the newer stuff I just watch on streaming service or uh, digital download. Of course, doing both of those things legally. But here we have Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This is the 1970, I think it came out in 73, something like that. No, 70, 71. Oh wow, they renewed the copyright on this, but this is the Digibook edition here. Very nice. One disc. I guess this is a 4K transfer, but pretty cool pictures from the film uh, gives you the lyrics to the Oompa Loompa song one this is a picture of Augustus drinking from the river in the inside the factory there or inside the yeah the candy <clears throat> classic film I mean you can't go wrong with this I'm not gonna review it and I've, I've talked about it before blu-ray book packaging it says here behind the scenes featurettes here uh, theatrical trailer uh, tasty vintage feature plus theatrical trailer okay for sing-alongs um, I think there is another version of this but I didn't get it like some kind of deluxe box set but here's WB's four film favorites you have lethal weapon lethal weapon 2 lethal weapon 3 and Lethal Weapon 4. There's talk that a fifth movie will be filmed and released, but I don't know. I mean, who knows? I mean, these are good films. I I enjoyed the first two more than the third and the fourth. I mean, the third is still pretty well action-packed, but Joe Pesci's character is, is annoying. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the guy. He's great in Casino and uh, My Cousin Vinny and the first two Home Alones and stuff like that. Great action movies. Uh, limited 30th anniversary steelbook edition of Top Gun starring Tom Cruise. And a lot of other great film. Uh, a lot of other, other actors and actresses starring Val Kilmer, of course, as Goose. Uh, or Iceman, I'm sorry. 13th. Okay. Uh, I'll show all these guys together. There we go. Looney Tunes Platinum Collection Volume 1. I think there's another couple of collections of these uh, cartoons. All time classics of cinema, says Jerry Beck, animation historian. I mean, these are. Uh, I think there's three discs here. Yeah. Three discs. I also have a Tom and Jerry, but I showed that, and the actual, the look of the discs are pretty much the same. My uh, booklet in here, it's different uh, prototype sketches here, Tasmanian Devil, has a lot of great stuff, Bugs Bunny, uh, Daffy Duck, uh, these kittens here, um, the witch of course of Bugs Bunny, the dog, um, I forget the Martian's name, but like just a whole bunch of great classic cartoons here. I'm sorry, I'm looking through it to see how many cartoons it has. I believe it's what I don't have the backing. Let's see if we can find the backing here. Here we go. There's the backing to it. Um, over five hours of content. Uh, soothing animator Chuck Jones, including a greeting from the master insightful documentaries and additional rare and unique shorts from Jones and others. I mean, so here we go. You have 50 shorts here on, um, it looks like it has 50 short shorts on the main feature. Uh, Looney Tunes character shorts featuring Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig. Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote, Baby Le Pew, Fog, Foghorn Leghorn, and Speedy Gonzalez, plus six feature select commentaries and alternate audio tracks. 
uh, disc twos, one shot, uh, featuring one shot classics and complete collections for each of the following characters Marvin the Martian, there we go, I thought it was Marvin, the Tasmanian Devil, Witch Hazel, Mark Anthony, and Ralph Phillips, plus three new features, select commentaries, and alternate audio tracks once again. Excellent collection. I just really enjoy those, and I'll more than likely buy some more in the future when I have the money. Iron Man 3, excellent film. I don't have Iron Man 2 because I did. I enjoyed it, but I didn't uh, didn't find a see a reason to buy them. Uh, all the Iron Man films. Um, I'll show these in order here. Steelbook edition of excuse me. Star Wars A New Hope. This guy he has a he has a few scratches on him. I was a little disappointed to find that out. But this is the special steelbook edition. These are still uh, available on Amazon as far as I know, if not directly from Amazon through Air Marketplace Seller. I have all three of the uh, original trilogy. Anyways, Empire Strikes Back, and I'll be buying some bags to protect these from further scratches. But it has the poster art on the back of each um, each steelbook. I haven't even opened him. Star Wars Return of the Jedi, the last steelbook I have. And I'll show the backings here in a second. But these just have audio commentary um, and archival interviews. Okay, cool. From the cast, interviews of the cast. So here is uh, Star Wars, otherwise known as Star Wars New Hope. Same thing. Audio, you have audio commentary with George Lucas and crew. And audio commentary from archival interviews from cast and crew. I'll be listening to those someday and probably comment on them. Here's the backing to Empire Strikes Back. Excellent film. All the Star Wars films have been excellent to me so far, and I still need to see The Last Jedi. Um, and definitely will uh, someday, very soon. I'll probably, probably a little bit later tonight after making this video. And this is a recent purchase, a Star Wars The Complete Saga, at least The Complete Saga at that time. Um, here you get, I get, uh, or we have... <laughs> Episode 1 through 6. Episode 2, 3. Uh, A New Hope. Return of the Jedi. And bonus features. Two discs. I think it featured, it said like over four hours worth of special features. Some old documentaries covering uh, the first three Star Wars. Uh, the first three Star Wars films, the original trilogy that is. This guy's kind of hard to get back in. Beautiful paintings here of uh, Luke's home there. Anakin Skywalker in the forefront and uh, basically a ghost of Luke Skywalker here. Hopefully this thing's focusing. This is the uh, this is the 20, I think it's 2010 box set. We had a long time to get this guy and I got him for a right price. It's a uh, I think it's a Spanish or French release uh, on there, as you can tell on the text on the disc and whatnot. Don John featuring Joseph Gordon Levitt and Scarlett Johansson. Great uh, flick here. Got him, I believe I got him used online. Um, he's basically a guy that is having, uh, he's got a porn addiction, he starts going out with a woman, and she basically. Uh, just about leaves him because of his addiction. Um, I think she does. I haven't watched the film in quite a long time. I'll have to go to the next part here soon. Dark Water, excellent horror film. Um, featuring John C. Riley and others. Uh, Artificial Intelligence, excellent film. E.T. featuring the Blu-ray and the uh, original film is on here with the uh, cops holding the guns. Kind of with the good, the bad, and the ugly. Fifth Element. Bullet with Stephen McQueen. The Thing. Goodfellas. Wizard of Oz. The Doors Live 1968 Hollywood Bowl. Short Circuit 1 and 2, 007 Rush with Love, Green Mile, and the Bourne Trilogy, and that's all for this collection video. I do thank you very much.